Kerala, the land blessed with the birth of Sri Shankara. Purna, the river sanctified by the divine footsteps of the righteous soul. Chirayatha Narasimha Swami Temple is situated on the banks of this river which recites the sacred mantras of Ati Shankara. Here, a sacred institution, Tantra Vidya Pitam, meditates perceiving the sound of Vedic recitals. This divine school, which is engaged in the endeavor of carving out experts in Kerala Tantra Shastra, is situated in Veliyathunada near Aluvai in Irnakulam district. Kerala Tantra Shastra is a consolidation of Yoga Shastra, Mantra Shastra, and Pauranika Shastra. The temples which are established and maintained according to Kerala Shastra has been a strong source of providing mental peace and self-holiness to people. Kerala temples are built based on the concept that it is a replica of human body and its sanctification is according to the philosophy of Shatadhara in Yoga Shastra. After the deity is established, the Acharya or the consecrated teacher, enlightened with this awe-inspiring knowledge and possessing the holiness of a saint, transfers his sacred powers to the Sanctum Sanctorum, which in turn is passed on to the believers. But Unfortunately, with the course of time, there was a deterioration in the values and the number of competent Acharyas declined at an alarming rate. Sensing this perilous situation, late Madhavji, with the support of prominent scholars, established the Tantra Vidya Pitam in 1972. And the sole intention was to preserve the ancient stream of knowledge, Tantra Shastra. The Vidya Pidam offers the course named Tantra Ratna, which has a duration of seven years. Another salient feature is that the system of Gurukula, or the ancient education system, is strictly followed. Students are chosen every year from applicants who are shortlisted on the basis of their merits and are selected only after analyzing their horoscopes. The candidates should have passed their matriculation examination and should be within the prescribed age limit and should also have complied with the rudiments of Ubanaina. Disciples wake up at 4.15 in the morning and after their morning activities they do the Pradasmarna for about 15 minutes. After that, the recital of Vedic hymns till 7 a.m. This is followed by the holy offering or Tevara, which can be done according to one's choice. Breakfast is served by 8.30.
The fourth noon session of classes starts at 9.30 and extends till 12.30, followed by the lunch break. The afternoon session is from 1.30 to 3.15. By 4, it's time for yoga and other exercises. From 6 to 7, it's again time for holy recitals, which includes the Sahasranama and Vedic mantras. After the dinner at 8, the students revise the lessons they studied. At 10, it's bedtime. At 10, the students can go to sleep. This is a day in Vidya Pita. The students of Vidya Pita have to cover 12 modules during their 7 year course. The first year starts with basic sacraments, multifaceted tantras, the methods by which offerings are to be made to 7 chief gods. In the second year, more detailed methods by which the seven chief gods are to be worshipped and few rituals like the Ganita Homa, Navakam, Panchagavya Puja, Apishekam, etc. are covered. Methods of performing rituals like Mahaganapati Homa the process of sanctifying the temple, the process of Sri Bhuta Bali, etc., along with the third and fourth modules are covered in the third year. The fourth year covers the rites and rituals during the festive season in the temple of a specific deity, one among the seven chief gods. The practices, starting with the Kodiyeta, or hosting of the divine flag of the temple marking the beginning of the festival till the end of the celebration which is usually marked by the washing of the idol or murti called arata is covered in detail. The fifth, sixth, seventh and eighth modules are covered during this time period. The rituals to be followed during the festive season of the other six murtis and offerings like Valiya Deha Shuddhi, Kalasha Puja, Agni Janana Homam and the ninth and tenth modules are dealt in detail during the fifth year. 
more advanced and complicated services like the Navikarna Kalisham and the 11th and 12th modules are studied during the 6th year. During the seventh year, the anthology of Tantras and Sheshas, the offerings which are to be made to the Murtis, which are not specified in the anthology, the sacraments offered as a mode of repentance, etc., are studied in detail. Apart from this, the students have to study subjects like Sanskrit, English, Mathematics, Vastu Shastra, Jyotisha Shastra, etc. Here in Vidya Pedam, the teachers, the non-teaching staff and disciples coexist, studying together, working together, immersing themselves in sacred procedures. The administrative body of the Pedam comprises of prominent and provisioned personalities who have made notable cultural and social contributions and this is undoubtedly its hidden strength. The young Acharyas who have successfully completed the course of Tantra Ratna under the supervision of eminent teachers and who also have gained knowledge in the modern education are respected and appreciated by the public and this has become a motivation for a lot to pursue this stream of education. A gem is always a gem. One fine day the world will realize the value of this institution expecting the wake of that day, Tantra Vidya Pita, stands with pride, holding its head high, eager to take its disciples to the new horizons of Tantra Shastra.